If you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you subscribe and leave a like on the video. It's free, it's easy, and it's gonna make my day. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mr. and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to show you how you can get the sodium mod. Now, this mob is absolutely awesome. It's basically up to find but on a crack. All right, so there's three things I'm gonna show you in this tutorial. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to get it. Then I am going to show you some comparisons uh, from with and without the sodium mod. And we're gonna finish up with uh, little settings, my settings uh, that I have for the mod. I found this all uh, yesterday. I got this from a channel, okay? I didn't find this out myself. I'm gonna put his link in the description because I feel like he should get some credits, you know? So go to this website that I will put in the description and all the links are here. As you can see, you need the, so uh, you need the sodium mod, fabric and fabric API. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to download them. Okay, so there's, uh, of course, there's always uh, the five second ad thing. And then you just click download, okay? I'm not gonna do it because I already downloaded this. But yeah, is it, you're, you're gonna click download, you're gonna wait five seconds and then it should download pretty easily. Then you have fabric, again, five second ad. And what you wanna do here is you click under is, uh, installation, you click here. And then you have to click download installer universal slash jar you it's not harmful okay there's no virus on this you can do a virus check it's it's fine it's completely harmless finally you need a fabric api now i have no idea what it does but the mod does not work if you do not have this there you go so same thing as the fabric um, the sodium mod you just click download wait five seconds so boom everything is installed uh you should have these they should all go in your downloads tab. So what you want to do first is you double click on the fabric installer. Uh, this is going to install fabric on your launcher. Now I'm not going to actually click install because I already installed it and I don't want to fuck it up. So you just click install. Make sure you already um, launched uh, the version that you want it on. Me, I want it on 1.16. Well, I would have to go on a Minecraft launcher. Go in Minecraft 1.16.1. And then play at least once so it actually downloads this version now on to these ones so what you want to do now is you click windows and r it's gonna pop this up then you can then you have to type percent app data percent there's other ways to do this for example you can go in the type here to search thing windows and you can do the same thing and there you go now it should um bring you here you double click on minecraft and then you scroll all the way down to the mods folder what you're gonna do is simply just just transfer these into the mods folder and that's it it's done you have installed the sodium mod now i'm gonna show you uh the differences right now uh at what you can expect with uh, the sodium mod Okay, so here I am into an SMP server that I play on, and there you go, I get around 20 FPS, and I'm on low settings, oh, there you go, it goes up a little bit, but it doesn't go higher than 40 FPS, and that's, that's fine, for me it's playable, but let's load up Fabric, and you guys will see my FPS. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, we are on the Fabric Launcher, and if I load up um, this SMP server real quick. Alright guys, so as you can see in the top left corner, I'm running at about 60 FPS, which isn't that bad. Isn't that bad. Without my me recording, I probably get like 80 or 100, but I don't know why. Like as soon as I start recording, like my dream, like drops a lot i'm gonna put a screenshot just to prove my point okay because yeah i do get like constant 80 but recording just fucks it up for some reason so let's go into settings real quick now they have this cool custom menu which is pretty cool um, i'm not gonna go like into every setting uh just because well just cut down the video time uh but yeah they it, they show you how high the impact on your fps is and yeah it's pretty cool it shows everything uh, what everything does so yeah here are all my settings uh, so yeah 
advance. I think you should uh, put all of these on. I'm not sure though. Um, I haven't tested with them, but I put all of these on and I get the max FPS with that. But I'm actually not that sure. Uh, but yeah, those are my settings and uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure you like and comment on the video for some video ideas because please, I, I really need some. Make sure to consider subscribing and uh, yeah, we'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.